Hey, I'm out in the German Roma Aging Cell, and right now I want to talk about Mescalero. This product is very dear to my heart. Um, I dreamed it up because when I was talking to, um, to Jaime Munoz of Los Donzantes about Los Nuales and then again about Alipus, I realized that what was happening was that in any of these things, any level of, of production, um, basically what you're doing when you bottled something, let's say a thousand cases, was that was, you know, like 10 batches or something that had all been, you know, distilled, you know, fermented and th they'd been prepared in batches. In other words, you can only roast so much agave at a time in one of those pits and then you ferment it and then you distill it and then you roast some more and you ferment it and distill it. And by the time you've gotten to like having a thousand cases of it, which is, you know, like 12,000 bottles, um, one batch out of one of those, uh, you know, palenques, uh, roasting pits, tends to be about, you know, more like a thousand bottles. So you have to do it 10 or 12 times in order to get um, a batch that's um, a commercial size. And what was missing from that was, you know, the individuality that one batch can have, because every batch is different from another. You ask any distiller worth his salt and he'll tell you the same thing never comes off the still, even from the same, uh, let's say in our situation, grapes exactly the same grapes, same wine, each run is slightly different. And then the other thing that I had been shown was um, agave tobala, which is made from wild agaves. And when poking around in that, I discovered that there were a number of wild agaves that people could distill, and they weren't very well represented. So I proposed to Jaime that we make a brand which consisted of taking one of his, you know, his great Alipus distillers and saying to him, make us something that's local and that is at least 50% wild agaves, often 100%, but at least 50%. And we're just going to bottle one batch at a time. So right now, actually, we're in Mescalero number 12. We're in our fifth year with Mescalero. So, and a, you know, a batch tends to be somewhere between seven and 900 bottles, which takes a guy a month to make, uh, starting from the delivery of the... And wild agaves are amazing. I mean, you know, it's like wild anything, like wild strawberries or wild raspberries. They always have this beautiful intensity of flavor, but, you know, they tend to be tiny or hard to get to or in places where you can't find them very well. Um, and so that's why people tend not to be able to use them for, uh, you know, making commercial jams or what are you, whatever you're going to make out of it. But, um, you know, this stuff, they go out into the hills with burrows. And if it's a big, you know, like, I'm going to, what's the one, Tepestate, which is a big agave, you know, they have to cut it in, in half. And they can only put one of them on each burrow. So you can imagine how long it takes to put together about the seven tons of agaves that it takes to make a batch.